What is going on guys? Welcome to your 41st tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you guys how to save and restore your canvas. Now when would you want to use this? Well check it out. Remember in the last tutorial we took that canvas and I think we moved it and then we rotated it and then we stretched it a little bit. Well what if we did all that stuff and we had an awesome looking design on our website and then we we're like okay this is nice but now I want to get back to normal. Well then you would have to unshrink it, unrotate it, move it in the opposite direction to get it back where it was, and it would just be a big pain, a lot of code. However, wouldn't it be awesome if we could just say, you know what, we want to just restore the canvas back to point A before we did all that weird stuff to it. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how. And it's not as simple as just making an entirely new blank canvas, it's actually a lot more awesome than that. So what we have right now is basically just a plain old blank canvas. It starts in the top left. It's not shrunken or it's not stretched or rotated. It's just a plain old Jane canvas. So now what I want to do is I want to call the save function on this canvas. And what it's going to do is it's going to save the current settings. Anything we do after this, like rotate it or you know put some text on it, those things aren't going to be saved. It's going to save everything like it was before this line of code. It's basically just like saving a video game. Everything up to that point is saved, but anything you do after the save is not saved. So let me go ahead and try to mess some stuff up. Canvas, fill, text, and I'm just going to go ahead and write something like let's begin because we're going to start messing things up real bad so 1030 and now not the time 1030 if I just go ahead and refresh that you can see that we got the text let's begin right after our save point so now let me go ahead and apply some transformations to this canvas so I was gonna type can formation what the heck am I doing so canvas and then I'm just gonna rotate it one radian which is like 57 degrees or something so now the entire canvas is rotated not the text the entire canvas so now what I want to do is add some more fill text right here copy and by the way my best friend's name is fill text so you know how weird is that I'm just kidding he's not so if we go ahead and write 60 10 then that should give us a pretty good position and I'm just gonna write okay what do we do rotate it so this text can just say after rotation did I spell that right oh crap I accidentally did so now let me go ahead and refresh this and show you guys what we got what we did is basically took that canvas and we rotated it one radian so now our canvas is tilted a little bit so you're saying okay we did all our crazy transformations and let's pretend that you know we did like three other ones I'm just not gonna do it because I'm lazy and then you say okay but now I wanna get back to this plain canvas so am I gonna have to like rotate it negative one to get it back to normal no all you have to do is call the restore function restore and that means go to the store again I'm not I'm just joking that's not what it really means what restore means is I want to restore the canvas back to the point where we saved it in other words I want to restore its basic settings so what it's gonna do is it's gonna wipe out any transformation you did up until basically any transformation you did after the save point and it's gonna say okay whenever you save this canvas what were the settings in our canvas just happened to be a plain old you know blank canvas and zero zero was in the top left so that's what the canvas is restored to so now if you go ahead and hit something like canvas fill text and we write something in here like after restoring and we refresh it check it out if it worked properly and if I didn't mess anything up then the word after restoring should cover let's begin because this is the exact same settings that we started with so refresh cross your fingers oh yeah baby that's what I'm talking about thought I was gonna mess that up big time so what we did is as you can see with our jumbled up font this canvas is basically right back in the position that we started with at zero zero and the text is down ten and thirty so even though we may have rotated this and stretched it and you know moved it around a little bit 
the only thing we have to do is save our canvas wherever we want to save the settings and restore it whenever we want to get back to normal. So there you go. There's another amazing tutorial from yours truly. A thank you. A thank you. And uh, in the next tutorial, what are we going to be covering? I don't know. But trust me, guys, it's going to be amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.